Let's go. But I look so good right now. Hi, friends. Oh my god, they're here. Hello friends from London, my name is Young with a hat and welcome back to my channel. Hello! Today's my first full day in London, England. After coming back from India yesterday, I landed around 2 p.m. and I got home at around 5 p.m. I for sure didn't miss the London traffic while I'm away. After I got home at 5 p.m., I was fully tired. I wanted to take a nap, so I set my timer for 20 minutes. I ended up waking up at 5 a.m. I slept straight for 12 hours. And the weird thing is, I didn't even dream anything. I just startled myself and I just woke up like this. But honestly, I think I'm going through a grieving period. I don't grieve for any loss of a person, but I grieve for the goodbye. The possibility of not seeing any of my friends anymore in India. Honestly, I met so many friends from my co-workers to my friends and to the people that I met through my friends. I gathered so many connections and networks and now I'm kind of grieving, I'm kind of sad that I may not be able to see them again in the future. I know social media help, but it's not like I follow all of them. There are some people that put a mark on my heart, but I didn't click follow them on social media because I don't know their address. But I think it's also because of the culture shock. I think it came from being surrounded by so many people in the sunny and beautiful weather to London. London was so cold and rainy when I came back, and also because I didn't have anybody pick me up at the airport, and that was the saddest feeling. Mostly because I didn't ask anybody, of course, but also the feeling of dragging three luggage through the airport and to the stations and doing all these things by yourself. This makes me a little bit sad, but I want to change that. I don't want to drown in my grief because there's so many exciting things coming up. Like my parents are visiting me in London in a few days. So I think today I want to be surrounded by people. I'm not going to work from home. I'm going to go to the office and I will take you guys with me. First of all, this is why I'm wearing to work because London is so freaking cold right now. It is five degrees. I just check it and when it's cold, you layers. I put on a dream shirt inside to retain the heat. This one right here, you can see. And then I put a shirt over like this. Handsome, the statement piece for this outfit is this t-shirt. It has two big dragons on it, very beautiful. The reason why I'm wearing this is because it looks good, but also I have a few feedback calls with my seniors today. The busy season is the reason why I'm in India, so I came there to help people work better. And I came back, and now because the project is wrapped up already, I'm gonna meet with my seniors to discuss how it goes. Hopefully they will give me good feedback. That's why I'm wearing dragon, because it's good luck. Also, I'm gonna put my jewelry over it. The jewelry I got in India. This bracelet is made of tiger stone, so hopefully it's gonna be good luck as well. Because I was born in the year of the tiger. Same as this bracelet. And because it's cold, I'm gonna put a scrap over. Like this. I need to put on some hand cream. I'm gonna try out my new cologne that I just got. Let's go! Actually, I just went out and it was so cold outside. My ear was freezing and I remember I bought these. Look how cute! So I'm gonna wear these and also I'm gonna wear my gloves. Okay, and now let's go for real. Tomorrow, my company is going to have a Christmas party. It is going to be the biggest event of the year. And also, my parents are coming in a few days, so I don't want to get sick. I'm trying my best not to get sick, but I look so good right now. Honestly, take a minute to appreciate how good I look. I have an Indian glow up. Anyway, I'm going to put you guys in my bag right now, and I will see you at lunch. Right now, I'm in London Waterloo. It is one of the biggest and busiest train stations in the UK. Before moving to the next part of the video, I just want to give a special shout out to the sponsor of this video, Train Power. For those of you who are not familiar, Train Power is a money saving app for UK train tickets. It does so many things from ticket transfer, ticket splitting, fare monitoring to ticket refund, all in one app. If you live in the UK, you know how expensive train tickets can get. Train Power is a very useful app if you travel a lot by train. You can get the cheapest train tickets by splitting into tickets in different locations and that's the booking fee. You can get additional discounts by using your rail card. They also have a lot of ticket vouchers for new and old users. If you'd like to know more about Trend How, please check the link in my descriptions below and don't forget the code YOUNG N H A N to get additional discounts. Thank you Trend How very much for sponsoring this video. It is lunchtime and today I'm having lunch with my co-worker. This is Chen. Hi friends! So right now we're on a street that sells a lot of street food from different countries. I'm quite excited honestly because when I'm in India, there are a lot of Indian food. And just Indian food, I don't have a lot of options for other countries. While my co-worker is waiting for her Thai food right here, we're gonna get Japanese food. I'm gonna have a salmon rice bowl right there. So Jane and I got our food already. And right now one more task we need to do, which is find a coffee cup. So I brought my own coffee cup to the office two times and I got stolen two times. Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. It's a nice yeah. porcelain black coffee cup. Maybe people got it by accident. Who knows? 
But right now I need to find another coffee cup because I really need to coffee to defeat the jet lag. I'm really tired right now. So let's get a coffee cup. So right now we're in a winter shop. There are just so many options and we can choose because the price is cheap. Are these good? These are only one and a half pound. They're very cheap. We can have both, right? Yeah. I think I'm gonna get one for Shu Yang as well. Okay. I feel like I'm a cup merchandiser. I'm gonna go back to the office and sell this so that nobody stole my cup anymore. <laughs> Hello, can we get these? Yeah, sure. The food and the cups are secure. Right now, let's go back to the office and eat. And possibly sleep because I'm really sleepy. <laughs> you just landed yesterday? I just landed yesterday. Wow. I went home and slept for 12 hours. And I woke up this morning at 5 o'clock. I work a little bit. Yeah. So it must be very jet lag. A bit jet lag, but at the same time, it was the best sleep I've had in months. The sleep was so good. I slept straight, there was no dream, no nightmare, no nothing. Just slept. And then I woke up after 12 hours, like, Ooh, where was I? Like, I? I was so confused because I was supposed to be in India, while I'm in my bedroom right now in London. Something is not right. Ah, uh, you just like got a very deep sleep and then. Yeah, I was very disoriented. Yeah. Okay, we're back. We carry so many things. We bought our food, the cups. Banana and yogurt because this is good for my digestion, so I'm just going to eat it. Ooh. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. You want to try mine? <laughs> is it nice? Yeah. Mm. It's fresh. You want some add? I'm waiting for you to feed me. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to. Mm. Is it good? It's I... very good. What do you think about the weather? Too cold. It is too too cold. We're both from outside of London. She's from China. I'm from Vietnam. London is freezing. Yeah, it is freezing here. But also seasonal depression is a big thing here. When things get dark and cold very early, it gets sad. Depressed. It gets depressing. But anyway, I'm excited for tomorrow. The office had a Christmas party. I will take you guys with me. Very low key because I don't want people to know that I'm carrying a camera. I'm a vlogger. Alright, I'll see you guys. Let me enjoy my lunch. In peace everybody it has been a long day today for me it is officially the next day it is 12 36 the next day I've been working in this office for around I don't know how long 14 hours I woke up at 5 today if I count that 19 and a half hours whoa I've been up for so long I'm so sleepy right now but I have so much work left so I have to wake up early tomorrow to work and then go to the Christmas party. As you can see, I'm really tired right now. I'm the latest person in the office. Everybody left probably three hours ago. I've been working alone by myself. And I'm really sad because when I was in India, my co-workers waited for me to leave the office with them. <laughs> but that's just the way life goes, you know? Some good bites are harder than others. I just had my dinner already. I had a delicious dinner though. I miss Vietnamese food so much, so I decided to order Vietnamese food. I order bún bò hè, which is so. This beef noodles is from a region in Vietnam called hè. It is very delicious. There's so many toppings, and the broth is a bit spicy. So when you drink it, it kick your throat a little bit. Ah, so good! I finished the whole thing, and then I move onto the summer rolls. This is so refreshing. This is one of the best summer rolls I've eaten in a restaurant in the UK. They're pork, shrimp, and a little bit of noodles in it, so it's quite filling. And the sauce, the sauce is so so good. It is fish sauce. But it's not even fishy. It tastes delicious. And then right now I'm gonna go home, have a good sleep, wake up early tomorrow to finish work. So busy, so busy. My battery is also running now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. Hello friends, so right now I'm going to the airport to pick up my parents. I haven't seen them in like eight months, so I'm really excited right now. But I think there's a delay in the train. It's gonna be here in 15 minutes. I just hope that my parents don't need to wait because they've been traveling for 20 hours and they don't know how to speak English. This is the first time in the UK, so I'm really excited for that as well. But I'm a little bit worried about the weather because it is 5 degrees right now. In Vietnam, it is in the lower 20s. I just hope that they don't get sick like me right now. I'm sick because I just got back from India and it's so cold here. So excited. 30 more minutes until I meet my parents. I'm at the airport already. This is my second time at the airport this week. Two days ago, I landed here from India. Wait, I want arrival. I don't want departure. I don't want to fly again. Oh no, it's raining as well. It's cold and rainy. So my parents lands half an hour ago, but with all the security, all the baggage, I think that should be here soon. <gasps> ah, oh my God. Okay, suddenly there are so many Vietnamese coming out of the gates. So I think they're coming. <coughs> oh my 
my goodness. Ah, I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. I'm really looking forward to trying all the snacks, all the food they're bringing from Vietnam. It's gonna be so delicious. I just hope that they can go through security because they don't speak English and UK security is so complicated. Last time it took me almost two hours. I didn't even warn them that the border control is going to ask them some questions. I hope they can get it. Oh my god. I'm so nervous right now because this is our first family vacations. I'm being a big boy right now. Vacation sponsored by me. For my parents. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be coming soon because I really want to greet them. I feel like it's quite lonely to walk out of the airport gates by yourself. So hopefully they'll be coming soon. Hello? It doesn't even ring. That means they're not connected to the internet. Oh my god, they're here! Oh. Hello! Hey, <laughs> madam. <laughs> Met my parents and right now they're dressing up because it's so cold so they're putting on a lot of jackets and shoes. <laughs> my parents using the underground for the first time. But look at these kids. They're using their phones. They're on their phones. <laughs> Before taking them home, I'm taking them to the grocery store to get some vegetables and fruit. They're gonna make food for me. <laughs> Strawberries! <laughs> my mom loves fruit very much. Like me. <laughs> my mom is buying the whole supermarket. Please send help. Sao bạn? Sao bạn? <laughs> She's calculating even a miss money. Mày vô quá mẹ đây hả? Mua thêm lóc nữa đi để em tài em thích đó. Mm. Tài em thích đó kia mà mình nó. Mm. <laughs> so we are home and my mom just made a Vietnamese dinner. Look at all of this with all the seafood. This is eel, this is fish cake, this is shrimp. Look at all of that. So much food. You guys are jealous at me. My brother is probably jealous at me right now so. Fun up a tea. So right now I'm going to Chinatown to get a haircut and I'm taking my parents. Look at them, they're so lucky. The last two days they've been here, it's been raining like this. London has been so kind to my parents. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get a haircut, I have home, and then my parents are gonna walk around by themselves. Hopefully they don't get lost. But it's okay because they're gonna have my phone, they have the internet to show them around. And also I have a birthday party to attend in a few hours. Your boy need a makeover because my hair has been quite long. <laughs> They've been enjoying London though. They walk around by themselves a lot. My parents love walking. I love seeing things. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta tell my parents to stand on the right because people are gonna run on the left. Right now I'm getting my parents oyster card. It's the card to use for the train, the tube, the bus. Okay, oyster card. This is the first time doing this by themselves. Look at this. I'm explaining them how to use the underground. Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, let's stand on the right. Này là phố Trung Hoa, nơi con thích nhất ở London. Đứng tay. So right now I'm gonna go and have a haircut or a hair perm, and then my parents is going to walk around. I told Penny that I just came back from India and I just got a haircut there. Do you like my haircut? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Good. Coconut oil, they like, ooh, like this for 45 minutes. So good. You like it? I like it, yeah. Can you do it for me? <laughs> my colleague. So right now I'm having a hair perm. Thanks, Penny. Thank you very much. The hair cut is done, the hair perm is done. Right now my parents want roasted duck. <laughs> right now I'm gonna do my eyebrow. My parents are officially London nerves now. <laughs> Good morning. Right now I'm taking my parents to the airport to pick up our brother. He's flying from Chicago. And it's gonna be exciting because the whole family is gonna be here except for my sister because she needs to study. Alright, my sister needs to study. She needs to focus. It is quite cold and dark right now, as you can see. <sighs> it is 5.30 at the moment and my brother is going to land at 6 a.m. So we're just getting there. <laughs> and also look at this. This is a scarf that my friend gave me about eight years ago when I left Vietnam to study abroad in America. And I wear it for the second or third time today. It looks so cool though. So fluffy. <laughs> nice. Hi. Hi. <laughs> they took pictures of everything. Food everywhere, this woman. 
Hãy cho tôi xin một vài cảm nghĩ về underground của London. Tuyệt vời. Tuyệt vời. Mọi người không có sống ở trên mặt đất, mọi người sống ở dưới mặt đất. She brought food everywhere. So right now we're at the airport already. Just got out of the train. It was so crowded. But right now I'm gonna see my brother real soon. Cảm nghĩ sắp gặp đứa con trai thứ hai của mình. Thế nào nói đi? Vui không? Rất rất vui. Có bao nhiêu tháng rồi chưa gặp em? Gần năm. Gần một năm. Almost a year. My brother has been waiting there for a while already. It's quite funny that his wedding. It is seven o'clock. By the way, it's still so dark. My parents was like. Why is it so dark? It's already 7. We're here already, Terminal 2 arrivals. We're so close now! My parents want to help my brothers. This is my brother. Tai ta. Tai kit. <laughs> so we got palmia and chocolate twist. There they are. Let's go. So I'm getting a banana because I'm healthiest. I'm the healthiest of the family. My, the rest of my family is getting bakery right now. It's my brother. First time using the underground. Okay. New York underground. <laughs> what do you think about the London underground? You better than in Chicago. No. Better than Chicago on the ground. No. No, don't quote me that. The first thing we're doing when we get up the airport is getting food because Asian parents love language is food. My mom is making breakfast. Mẹ đã nấu gì đó mẹ? Bánh canh. Bánh canh. Bánh canh xưa. Bánh canh xưa. Vietnamese noodle with pork. Let's eat. <laughs> My whole family are sleeping. They're all jet lag. But the funny thing is, I'm also jet lag. I just got back from India.